Catherine, and I'm from the Peanut Program. Some of you might think that I look familiar, and some of you might be wondering, who is that lady? Well, we are going to get to know each other pretty well. I am going to be in a total of six videos. So I would say about once a month for the rest of the school year, you and I will be getting together to talk about physical education and nutrition. Some of you might be wondering, what does that mean? Well, pushing those two really, really long words together is the name of our program, Peanut. So every time we get together, we might be talking about exercising, fun ways to get the wiggles out of our body, things that we enjoy doing outside or in. And then the nutrition part are great foods, yummy, tasty foods that we need for our bodies to grow and stay strong. A great example of this could be fruits and vegetables. So remember, we want to eat fun foods and have fun with foods, but then also stay active and exercise. All right, so let's start today by taking a look around the space that we're in. Some of you might be at home. Some of you might be in your bedroom. Some of you might be downstairs or upstairs, but I want you to take a look around the space that you're in and see what is around you that might help you be healthy. So it could be up or down, left or right, all around, who knows? We're all in a different space right now. But I wanna give you a few seconds to find something in the space that you're in that might help you to be healthy. I'll give you a few seconds. Let's see. Ah! Water! I have a water bottle and I try to drink as much water as possible because we want to make sure that we're staying strong and healthy and hydrated. So this is a very, very important thing to have during the day. Not just for me, but for you too. Write down below what you found. Ah, so refreshing. Another thing that I see it's in the corner, but it's hand soap. Who has hand soap at their house? Raise their hand. This could be hand sanitizer too. Anything that we see to keep our hands clean. Remember, you can write down below what it is that you find. So today's lesson is all about hand washing. I'm glad that we just talked about soap because that's really, really important. Today we're going to talk about not only how to wash our hands, but when are we supposed to wash our hands? Those two things are very, very important to make sure that we stay clean and healthy, not just for ourselves, but the people that we love and the friends that we have. We want to make sure that we're safe, right? So let's start by taking a look at our hands. What do we see? What do we see? We have our fingers. We have our nails. We have the palms of our hand. Some of us might even have little lines on our hand. There's the top of our hands. We don't want to forget that. Right? What about our wrist? Yeah. Different parts to our hands, right? They're really, really important, aren't they? Not sure what we could do without our hands. We use them for so much stuff. And we wanna make sure that we treat them right, don't we? They do a lot for us. So, let's take a look at how we wash our hands. We're gonna talk about when we wash our hands in one second. But, I wanna see if you know how to wash your hands. Let's pretend we're in the bathroom, okay? We're in the bathroom and we need to wash our hands. What's the first thing that we do? I just 
is the first thing we do. I'll give you a hint. It might be in the picture to this side. Write down below if you think you know what the first step is. I'm gonna say, turn on the water. We need water, don't we? So let's turn on the water and let's put our hands under that water. We wanna make sure that it's not too hot, but not too cold, right? We wanna make sure it's just right. Cause we don't wanna put our hands in the water and be like, oh, it's hot, it's hot, right? We don't want that. We wanna make sure it's just the right temperature and then we'll get our hands wet. So let's get them all nice and wet. And then what's next? Does anybody know? We have water all over our hands, what's next? It looks like there might be a picture over here for you. Gives you a little hint. I think we might need soap. Yes, we need soap, very, very important. So let's pretend like we're getting a little bit of soap from the soap dispenser. We have soap in our hands. Now what do we do? Rub them together. We gotta rub them, rub them, rub them. Do we just do this and then we're done? We need to do a little more than that, wouldn't you say? We wanna rub the tops of our hands, right? Rub in between our fingers, right? Let's get those nails. Sometimes we get stuff under our nails. We wanna make sure that every part of our hand is our clean. So let's dig, 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 dig. What about our wrist? We gotta get our wrist. Make sure your sleeves are up though. I forgot to tell you guys about that. We don't want our sleeves to get wet, do we? We wanna make sure our hands are clean and our sleeves are out of the way. Okay, so now we have soap all over our hands but they're clean. Does anybody know how many seconds we're supposed to clean our hands for? Because we got our nails and our hands and our wrist. But what is the length of time that we're supposed to be washing our hands for? 10 seconds? 10 minutes? No, that sounds like a little too much. How long do we have to wash our hands for? Write the number down below. I'm interested to know how long you think we need to wash our hands for. I'll give you a hint. It's the same amount of time as you would take to sing happy birthday or the ABCs. 20 seconds. I think some of you already knew this, but yes, 20 seconds we need to wash our hands for. You can also just count to 20, right? So there's different ways that you can make sure that you're doing it for long enough. Okay, we have soap all over our hands. What's next? We did it for the right length of time. We washed our hands for 20 seconds, but what is next? We just leave? We leave the bathroom? We're done? No. What is next? Write down below what you think is next. Do we dry our hands? No, silly. We want to put them back under the water. We need to get all that soap off, don't we? Get all that soap off our hands. Remember our warm water is still running? And now what do we do? It looks like it's right here. We want to dry our hands. So let's use a hand towel and dry our hands, okay? And they're done. You know, sometimes before we wash our hands, there's germs all over them and you can't see them. So that's why it's always really important to wash your hands for long enough with enough soap and let that water run to rinse all that soap off when you're done because there's a lot of things on our hands that we can't see. 
There's a lot of germs, over 5,000 germs. Isn't that crazy? So again, we want to make sure that we're keeping our bodies clean and safe, not just for us, but all of our friends and family too. We want everybody to stay healthy. All right, so we practice. We were good, we got it down. But I want to talk about when we wash our hands. Now that we got it down, I want to see if you know when during the day you would wash your hands. So let's think about it. From the moment that you wake up to the moment that you go to bed, there's a lot of times during the day that you should wash your hands, but I want you to think about when during the day you might wash your hands. We said earlier you want to wash your hands after the bathroom, right? After you go to the bathroom, you should wash your hands. Don't you agree? Get all those germs off. What's another time during the day that you might wash your hands? Who likes to go outside and play? I do. Double hands up. I love it. I love going on bike rides, going for walks, playing on the playground. So we're touching a lot when we're outside. I think a great time to wash our hands will be after we come inside from playing outside. Is that a good time? I think so. Who has a pet? I have a pet. I have a doggy. You can have any kind of pet though. Cat, dog, gerbil, hamster, turtle, bird, you name it. A lot of us have different pets, but I think a great time to wash your hands is maybe after you're playing with those pets. Because you don't know what they have, so we want to make sure that we're keeping those germs off of our hands and staying clean. Do you agree? Awesome. When is another time you might wash your hands? I got one. I got a good one. Who has a chore at home? Who has to do chores? Clean up the house, make your bed. But we need to wash our hands when we take out the trash. Yucky! Ugh! Not fun, but it's something we gotta do, right? There's a lot of germs on garbage. So make sure that when you take the trash out, you wash your hands when you come back in because it's really, really, really important. Remember, 20 seconds, the magic number. There might be a bunch of other times during the day that you would wash your hands, but if you are thinking about something that I didn't mention, write it down below. I'd love to hear. I'm loving all of these great ideas about when we should wash our hands and how we should wash our hands. But one of the most important times is before we eat. Do you agree? We're really wanting to keep the space on our plate clean because we're putting that food in our mouth. So it's always important to make sure that you're washing your hands for 20 seconds before you eat. This could be during breakfast, lunch, dinner, or we have snacks during the day. Anytime we're putting something in our mouth, we want to wash our hands first. All right. When we get together and when you watch videos for Peanut, we will always talk about something healthy. But we will also do something fun to keep our bodies moving. We always want to make sure that even though we're learning a lot, we want to get up and let those wiggles out and move around. It's kind of like a brain break, but we want to make sure that these are great ways to keep our body growing and staying strong. We talked today about washing our hands and how long we should wash our hands for, but I think now is a great time to get familiar with the 20 seconds that we're supposed to be washing our hands for. I have some fun stretches and exercises, and we're going to do them each for 20 seconds long. That way, we can see just how long 20 seconds is. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. First things first, I want to start with something simple just to stretch our bodies out. 
Let's take the tips of our fingers and touch the tips of our toes for 20 seconds long. Are we ready? Make sure you have enough space around you and you're up and out of your seat so that you can be standing along with me. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whew! Twenty seconds. Stretching our legs and touching our toes. It feels good, doesn't it? All right, let's do another stretch that's 20 seconds long. Let's take our hands and put them above our head and stretch and reach for the sky. We're gonna do this for 20 seconds too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woohoo! This is fun. All right. Let's do another. How about we. What could we do? Let's stick our arms out like a T and let's do little arm circles. Make sure you have enough space. We're gonna go forward 10 seconds and then backwards 10 seconds. Are you ready? All right, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Backwards, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, nice job. Get those wiggles out. So we did three really fun exercises for 10 seconds long. Now we get an idea of how long we should be washing our hands for. Thanks for playing along. Last part of today's lesson is healthy snack time. Okay, so... I have a healthy snack in front of me, and some of you might have this healthy snack, some of you might not, but this is a great chance to add to your grocery list for the next time that you might go to the grocery. It is a carrot. Who's had a carrot before? Who has and liked it? Double arms up, yes. So, carrots come in different colors, Carrots come in different sizes. They're all super, super yummy though. You could get a bag of itty bitty baby carrots, super yummy. You can buy them in a can, or you can get a bag of frozen carrots. There's a lot of different ways to buy carrots. I have some right here in front of me. So, these are a little bit longer than a baby carrot but they're still just as yummy. Did you know that they come in different colors? I know. Cool, isn't it? So some come in orange, which I'm sure you're really familiar with. Some come in like a lighter color, maybe sort of like a yellow, and then a deep purple. Okay, they're all really yummy and crunchy. Raise your hand if you've had a different color carrot than just an orange. All right, so I'm gonna try a carrot. Let's try it. Ready? Mmm. Did you hear the crunch? Very crunchy, but very, very yummy. Let's see. Kind of sweet. Do you think carrots are kind of sweet? I think a little bit. So yummy, though. How do you eat your carrot? You could just eat it by, your, by itself, like how I just did. Or... You could put them in a salad, right? You could just have some cooked carrots, sort of sliced like this picture right here, as just a side to your main course at dinner time, right? 
Sometimes I just put them in a little baggie and I eat the baby carrots on the go. They're really, really yummy and convenient. Mmm. I'm going to have some more of those later. All right. So, any questions about hand washing? We talked a lot about how to wash our hands, when we wash our hands, and how important it is to fight those germs off. But if you have any questions, you can write them below. Thanks for hanging out. One last thing. Healthy homework. I want you to go and share with your family some helpful information about how to wash their hands and when they should wash their hands. Share all this helpful information with everybody. Because the more that people know, the healthier that we'll all be, right? Thanks for watching. I'll be back next month with another video. Nice to see everyone. Bye.